Welcome to 5 Minutes in the Word, a daily devotional in the Word of God. Welcome back to 5 Minutes in the Word. Today we're going to continue our study in John chapter 4. We're going to pick up quickly in verse 13 uh, and read some of the we, we've covered last time to just kind of get us back into the text. Notice last time Jesus is by a well. He is weary uh, from his travels. Uh, he is sitting there resting while his disciples have gone to get food. And then he is see, sees a Samaritan woman. He asks her for water. Um, the, the, this woman is just marveled that, she, that he is asking of her, a Samaritan woman. Uh, she discusses that, hey, Jews and Gentiles, that they don't really uh, converse. Uh, Jesus tells her that if she really knew who was asking uh, you know, of her that she would want the living water that, that he can provide. She's a little confused by this, and we see that as we go here to verse 13. And Jesus answered and said to her, whoever drinks the water uh, of this water will thirst again, but whoever drinks the water that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. So Jesus goes on to explain that the water he's talking about is something that's far better than the physical water this earth can provide. And so the woman said to him, sir, give me this water that I may not thirst nor come here to draw. And so she's thinking about physical water. She's thinking about something that is that she's going to drink and maybe never thirst again. And you know, in some ways, that would be great. Hey, never be thirsty. That would be wonderful. Uh, but let's think about something that's even more important. Uh, it, yeah, it would be great to not uh, thirst physically, but what about to not have what we need spiritually? What about to be so thirsty spiritually that we just don't have what we need? Uh, and so, uh, and that's the way the lost of the world are, and that's the way we are when we fall back into sin. You know, we need something. We need a proper relationship with Christ. We need to come into Christ, be into Christ, and to walk continually in Christ. Uh, that is what we need. And so Jesus said to her, go. Uh, no, she says all this. And so he's going to shift the conversation a little bit. Uh, and he says here, uh, in, um, in verse 16, he said, Jesus said, go call your husband and come here. Now, what does the husband have to do with this water? Well, it has to do with showing, uh, this woman who Jesus really is. Uh, and so he's going to say this and she's going to answer him. And the, and the answer she says, well, uh, I have no husband as you see there in verse 17. And Jesus said to her, you have well said, I have no husband for you have had five husbands and the one whom you, uh, whom you now have is not your husband in that you spoke truly. And so he tells her something that, uh, that no other man w would have known that's never met her. Uh, they didn't know her previous circumstance. Jesus has never met this woman. And this is one who really impressed this woman. And this woman's going to say to him in verse uh, 18 or 19, rather, uh, sir, I perceive you are a prophet. Uh, why? Because he just told her her life. He just told her the things she's done in this life, and she is marveled by that. And then she goes on and says, Our fathers worship on this mountain, and you Jews uh, say that in Jerusalem is the place that you ought to worship. Uh, Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour is coming, and now is, when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such who worship Him must worship in the spirit, or must worship in spirit and truth. This is something that Jesus he turns the conversation. He turns the conversation the first time by just telling this woman, "Hey, you know, go bring your husband." And that shifts the conversation to him being a prophet. It then leads into the conversation of worship. And then he tells her in this worship setting that are in this conversation of worship that it's a time is coming, but it's not going to be about this mountain. It's not going to be about Jerusalem, but it is going to be about true worship. And it is going to be about worshiping God in spirit and in truth. And that's the lesson that I want us to get out of this today is that it is so very important that we worship God in spirit and in truth in the right heart in the right mindset, uh, in the right uh, frame of mind, uh, in the right way, in the instructions, in the truth. We must give God proper spiritual worship as his people, as Christians, as children of God. We must give him what he uh, deserves, what he has asked for, what he commands of us. Uh, and we must we must do these things, uh, you know, as the Lord has instructed. Uh, this is something that would you know, be, um, be so different to these people who have, you know, fought nearly over worshiping in this mountain or worshiping Jerusalem. And they've taken the focus out of, 
out of the way, and the focus was supposed to be on God. It was supposed to be on him, and they were supposed to be worshiping in the way he had given them, even under the old law. But so many had broken away from that. Uh, even the Pharisees and stuff, they had made these things more about the the ritual instead of about God. They had made their own laws and customs and things, and they had put their emphasis on the wrong thing. And you see that over and over again in the Scripture. Well, we as Christians today we need to make sure that our worship that we are offering to God is done with sincerity, is done with the right heart, the right mind, uh, in the spirit, uh, is done in truth. And if we will do that, then we can be those true worshipers uh, that God is seeking. Uh, and we, when he comes back, uh, he will take us home to be with him forever.